Hello everyone. Welcome to Teach 5. So according to our logical organization of our reading uh, videos, first we have seen what is synonym and second we have seen what is restatement. And in the third video, we'll be focusing on reading through reference and inference. First, let's understand what is reference is. So the reference, there are list of pronouns. A reference means what? A reference means are they are called as pronouns. There are three different sets of pronouns. One is of a simple pronoun, he, she, it. And the other one is of collective pronoun, they, them, those. And the other one is possessive pronoun, me, my, yourself, himself, and itself. So uh, a reference also helps in most of the conditions of our reading comprehensions. And let's see how they are useful. First, let's look at the example. So you have the passage here. Economic content between Native Americans. So the question here is the word they in paragraph three refers to. So you may not have this sort of a questions in, I, in IELTS, but to understand what is a reference is, I have taken a few examples. Okay, so economic content between Native Americans and Europeans can be traced back to the English and French fishermen of the coast of Canada in the 50s, 1500s. They traded guns. So now what is they is referring to? They is referring to Europeans, right? So who traded they, right, refers to Europeans because Europeans is a plural and they is a combination of plural, so Europeans. So your answer is Europeans. The next one is the second example here is New Zealand, New New Zealand is becoming an increasingly popular. Okay, let's see, it refers to, so it is referring to what? Okay, New New Zealand is becoming an increasingly popular destination for overseas visitors. It attracts tourists. So it is attracting tourists. It is referring to what? It is referring to New New Zealand, right? So New Zealand, it's referring to New Zealand. Sorry, it's not New New Zealand. Sorry for the wrong pronunciation. It's a New Zealand. New Zealand is talking about it. Okay, now see, let's see what is they refers to. It attracts mostly, but the vast majority come as students. Mostly from Asia, Asian countries, they stay for anything from a few weeks. So they is referring to what? So they is referring to the tourist and business. It attracts tourists and people on business. So now they is talking about it attracts tourists and their business people, right? <clears throat> the next one is this refers to. So what is these is referring to? Okay, now let's see a few years uh, more studying at language schools, college and universities. New Zealand can offer good uh, homestay accommodations, a clean and beautiful environmental and reasonable cost of tuition. This factors. Now the question is, these factors are referring to which, which factors? These factors are referring to accommodation, environment, and reasonable tuition costs. So now in IELTS, you may have this sort of a references. So now they are the ones who has popularized Dash. Right? So now we should understand what is the they is referring to. So if you know they is referring to certain things, then only you can pull that answer, what is they is referring to. Okay, to understand the reference, I have taken a few examples how this reference can be helpful in reading comprehensions of IELTS. And the next one is use inferences. So what do you mean by inference? Inference means drawing conclusions. So this drawing conclusions or inference aspect is mostly useful in true, false, not given, or s no, not given. So now what does it mean though? So now for example, the passive statement is, inference means is drawing conclusion. So Dr. Raj dies, and uh, millions of people cry. Dr. Raj dies, millions of people cry. And the question here is, Dr. Raj is famous. And what the students do, they have to find the same, if they think that Raj is famous is not in the sentence. So I put it as not given, or I put it as false. But this statement sounds to be true. Why? Because a conclusion here is, millions of people are crying means, so Dr. Raj is a famous person. That's the reason why millions of people are crying. Millions of people know him, that's the reason they are crying him. So the statement stands out to be true. 
And the next example is the passive statement is below. People are slowly discovering that they are living on a top of grounds that has been contaminated by toxic elements. And the question here is people do not know they are living on top on the top of on the waste particles. So what the students do? The question in the passage there is no word discovery. In the passage there are words like uh, grounds, contaminated, toxic elements. They are not there. But what is the conclusion of it? And most of the students would have not given. But the statement turns out to be true. So here the statement is people are slowly discovering. Discovering means when do we discover? We discover when we don't know something. That's how the statement is saying here. People do not know they are living on the waste particles. They started discovering just because they do not know. The statement turns out to be true statement. Let's look at the next example. The next example here is gorillas which eat vegetarian demonstrate gentle behavior towards small creatures. And the question here is gorillas by nature demonstrate gentle behavior towards small creatures. And what the students do? This passage is not saying anything about vegetarian. And that's how they put it as not given or false statement. But the overall conclusion here is it is demonstrating nature behavior not about the food they eat. It is about the behavior of a gorilla. If the gorilla is eating non-veg doesn't mean that is gentle or not gentle. Whether it is eating vegetarian it doesn't mean that gentle or not gentle. But the overall meaning and the conclusion here is nature by nature. It is the nature which depicts to be gentle. Okay, so these are the few examples. So please do contact us to understand in more detail about what is IELTS reading comprehension is through restatements, through synonyms, through reference, and through inference. In our next slide, we'll be looking at the question types and how these question types can be applicable for the different aspects that we discussed in the previous videos. To know more about us, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know what would you like us to post in the next video. So we are upcoming batches at www.teachfi.com or write to us at info at And thank you.